Hi everyone. Um, so my math manipulative today, I've been able to pronounce it, um, is actually made out of bottle caps. <laughs> um, so I had to drink a lot of water for this, but it was helpful in the end. I really liked it. I really like being able to create this is very creative. So the way I did it with my bottle caps is, and I figured it would be easier for a teacher to do because all you have to all they have to do is drink the water and then save the bottle cap. So the activities I plan for this isn't really a grade specific because they they range in all grades. And um that's what I want for my math manipulative because I know how many teachers change grades. They can teach first grade one year and then the next grade they teach fifth. So and I want to be able to use these in my future classroom. So that is why I wanted to be able to use them in a very, uh, not in a wide variety of grades. So I'm going to give you an example of how I did it. So see, I wrote 42 on my bottle cap. So I'm very hyper today, so sorry. So I'm going to tilt y'all down so you can see my little work table and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so this is my little table. So our first activity is separating between odd and even. So all the students would do is this is basically teaching them how to categorize. So first number is one that goes under the odd and then 68 even four even it goes aside. 45 odd and so the student would continue on and on with those and just wait until they're done and have maybe another friend check them or just until they're done cater um, separating them. So our next activity is actually the greater than, less than, or equal to. So I'm going to give you an example with my greater than but you can also change sides so if it goes that way it goes this way so the way we're going to start out is the alligator is pointing towards the left if you're view let me see i don't know how whatever way it's going it will be pointing towards a larger number so let's put fit the student would be put pick a number that the alligator mouth would turn to but they would have to notice that which way it's turning away from and so they would choose something as like 11. And then, or they could turn it which way the direction goes and then switch the number and maybe keep that one. And say replace that 11 with 108. So, yeah, my numbers move down. So with that, it would just have a fun way for the students to learn how to write and make sure that it can, um, they understand how to write these. So after being able to learn how to write those, you all, they also have these kind again that they can do. Those are kind of harder to write on the bottle caps because you do have to make a separate one that goes the opposite way because the line, they're, you're not going to be able to have it to where it switches around. So you need another bottle cap for those. So that is another activity done. So another activity we have is, um, well, I have the addition, so let's see. Um, so eight plus one, and I do have the equal sign. Here we see it. Eight plus one equals nine. So this allows, this would probably be around kindergarten or first grade, that they would teach, they would learn how to write an equation. And with these, you can take one, a sim like a symbol of that equation, and have the students fill in the blank. So you would ask them, 8 plus what equals 9? And so you can ask them what one would make that true, and they could fill in the, not the 1. Or take away the 8. Or take away the nine. So, yeah, you can see those. Um, another one I have 
is let's see, do I even odds? Those that I also have multiplying for when you're in third grade when they're learning multiplication tables. You have let's see, where's my six um five so the students can make their own multiplication problems. So six times five equals where's an equal sign? Okay. Equals thirty. And so but this is the same way with the other one is like take away five, six times what equals thirty. So the student would be in charge of filling out and making that problem true. So, and you can also take away the 30 if you want to just add them that way. So, my last activity is actually fractions. I made a little fraction bar on one. So, the way the students would do it is just basically just try to assemble a fraction such as like learning the numerator and the denominator. So, like one over two so the students would say one half you would have let me see such as seven thirty seconds if you want to get in detail fractions but just having them learn different fractions and where to put certain numbers and this would also go good with maybe a poster and show them pictures and have them actually put out the fractions on the bottle caps. So that is what my math manipulative is. I'll turn this back up here. And I really encourage this one because it is easy to make, like I did say. And it all you have to do is drink water. So it um motivates healthy lifestyles. So all you have to do bottle caps, numbers, and a sharpie, and a creative mind. So, I hope y'all liked it, and thank you.